Six games into an always tough city conference schedule, Riverside finds himself in a second place tie with a 5-1 and one record. That one loss, though, is to conference leading and undefeated King. So it's imperative for the Tigers from here on out not to drop another game inside conference play. And that starts right here tonight against South Division. Cardinals enter this contest 3-3 three and three in league play, and they'll have to face the Tigers with this guy, 6'11", Philip Nolan. And Nolan making his presence felt early. Off the initial miss, Nolan cleans the glass, puts it back up and in for two of his game-high 19 points. But South playing some great team basketball early on, finding the open man, that's Ronnie Travis, and that's a 12-10 Cardinal lead. But that lead would be short-lived. Shamari Triggs finds his twin brother Bakari who drains the three at the buzzer. Tigers up one after one. In the second, Shamari continues to spread the love. Finds a wide open Robert Harris. He throws it down and that lead is now up to three. The second quarter though was all about Riverside turning defense into offense. Bakari with the steal takes it to the tin for the easy two. Then DeAndre Downey follows suit. And when you're six feet, seven inches tall, you don't lay it in. You bring the thunder. Tigers outscore the Cardinals by 12 in the frame, hold a 13-point edge at the break. Third quarter, South senior Cameron Pennington puts the cards on his back. First, he lays in the floater. Then he knocks down not one, but consecutive threes to cut that lead to just five. Pennington nets a team-high 18 for South. But in the end, the Tigers were just too much. Shamari Triggs takes the length of the floor through the defense like a knife through butter. Count it and one. And the Tigers improved the 6-1 and one in City Conference play with the 67-50 triumph. Our confidence is sky high. Uh, we feel that if we play together as a team, we can do anything. I mean, state is our goal, and we, we continue to play as a team and um, shoot the ball and play discipline. There's no doubt, doubt, no doubt in our minds we're going to go to state and win. Classic 8 Conference still up for grabs. McGuanago with the chance to claim a share of first place with Pius if they can knock off the Popes. Pius comes out like gangbusters. Matthew Fox Whitaker dials one up from long distance. Then off the turnover, Carrington Love finds a cutting Fox Whitaker who lays it in. And Pius would hold a 10-2 advantage after just one quarter of play. Indians find their stroke in the second. Aaron Nixon lines one up drills the triple, that cuts the Pius lead to four. But the Popes would take an eight point lead into the half after Larry Fitzgerald hits the buzzer beater, 20 to 12 in favor of Pius at the break. In the third, Popes extend that lead. Love pushing the floor, gets it to go and the foul, Popes up 10. That's when things got interesting. And McGuanago caught fire. A.J. Brickle drops the trifecta, then off the steal, Nate Tange lays it in, and the Indians take their first lead since 2-0, 29-28. But the Popes come right back. Fitzgerald hits the acrobatic shot, Pius back on top by one. One last swing of momentum, and it goes in favor of McWanago. Dominic Szauskas hits the turnaround to put the Indians on top again, and then your dagger, a triple by Tange. And McGuanago tops Pies 40 to 38, grabbing a share of first place in the Classic Eight. It's a great feeling. Everybody's psyched, and you know this is the first time we've been in first for McGuanago in a long, long time, and we just want to keep it up. I mean, everybody's coming back next year too, so I think the sky's the limit for us.